guys, JD, maybe you can go first. Um, what was the difference in the second half for you guys, and what was the halftime locker room like? What, what did Eric, what was his mood? Uh, he wasn't very happy. Uh, he said we gave up too many threes, which we did. So in the second half, we just tried to come out there and just limit those three-point shots that they was getting. Piggyback on what uh, JD said, yeah, coach was, he was mad. Uh, we gave up too many threes. Uh, coming into the game, we knew the execution is not to give and not to give up threes, and that's what we did. And second half, we just tried to contain them from the three-point line a uh, lot. So, Kevin, you see when the ball's not falling or things break down off, that you seem to scrap for those loose balls and those second chance opportunities. Talk about your mindset so far as that kind of player. Another double double for you. Uh, it's just. It's just the, the mindset, like you said, the mindset. It's just like we're not, we're not clicking, you know what I'm saying, making shots. So you just got to do the little things just to get yourself going, you know, rebound, uh, and see it go through, man. Eventually, it's going to fall. Scott? J.D., what, what did you think of DC's work on the glass, just the activity and, and how valuable that was? I thought he was phenomenal. He was just everywhere. Every time we missed a shot and we thought they was going to get it, DC was right there, and he was putting it back in. Jacob? J.D., to start your season with 30 points, that's got to be a good feeling. Just what did you think about your game? Uh, a lot of people don't know this, but like when I was coming up in high school, uh, we used to go to Mercer camp every year. So like they offered me coming out of high school, so that was kind of personal. So this game was kind of personal to me. Do you, did you know anyone on the other side? Or did you still uh, I, touch know, I knew Glisten, but that's it. Curtis? You guys really turned it up defensively in the second half. You had 10 steals. JD, you had six of those. Can you just talk a little bit about your evolution as a, as a defensive player and then maybe at least the, the energy that you guys got from that? Uh, just that goes back to uh, preparation. Just uh, scout. Like, every day we do, they, we run their plays. So, like, I kind of know the spots that they trying to get to. So I just try to, like, beat them to it. With him shooting, with, with JD shooting a gap, and you know, clogging up, clogging up the paint, you know, and getting them steals, having the momentum going, it got the crowd into it, and everybody just fed, fed off the crowd and fed off GD, you know. So that's what turned the ball game around in the second half. Nate, I guess for both, just how big a factor was uh, Jalen's assist inside? To hit, just had several look like. It was Jalen played phenomenal to me, you know, uh, for a big to pass like that. You know, uh, you don't see too many bigs to pass like that. Uh, and Jalen did what he did, you know, for him to play, coming back from an injury, you know, so he's, he played he played his butt off. And he, had, and he almost had 10 rebounds, so yeah, he was on the glass. Well, J.D., I should know this if he scored 30 or more at Jacksonville, but... Um, 40 is his career. 40, okay. But this is, you know, a little different doing it for, for Arkansas, I would think, how ranked and all that. How big a deal is this for you to get 30? Uh, I mean, it's a big deal, but like, I feel like I got to be better. I feel like I left a lot out there, uh, and I just got to be better. And you, you, had, you had a lot of steals, too. What do you think of your defense? Uh, just going back to preparation. And, and you're, you're, you're really pissed off at Mercer for not, not offering it? Oh, yeah, for sure. Okay. Scotty? DC, you had five offensive rebounds out of your 11. What is kind of the key to offensive rebounding? Is it just, you know, they were saying still just constant activity or, or what? I mean, uh, to be honest, it's like, like you always say, sometimes when the shot, when you're taking three pointers a lot, most of them, majority of them go in, so long on shot, long rebounds, you know? So it's just, the simple fact that it just crash, you know, crash the glass. And the, the, key, the key to this game was, Mercer wasn't going for the offensive class, you know, so we was just, you know, we had to go to class when we take our shots, we go get, go get the rebound. Curtis? J.D., last year you were SEC Sixth Man of the Year. Uh, you guys are getting a lot of pop off the bench from Chris Likes now in that position. Uh, just knowing the mindset of, of having to do that, what have you thought about him so far? Uh, just knowing, like, you could be a starter on this team, and you just got to accept that role. And just knowing that Coach Musk is going to put you in the best position to be successful. And I think he accepted that very well. Final question, Bob? Hey, Jay, how close is um, Mercer to your, your hometown? I was like 45 minutes away. Okay. okay. Uh, they'd probably like to have you tonight, I would think.
Okay. All right. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Mm -hmm.